Hi everyone, it's Susie from Soil Mates of Georgia. I'm doing a May garden tour and harvesting some things right here with my spaghetti squash, which it'll be a few months, but I'm very proud of this. Grew this from seed. And the companion plants are radishes, which are really good for the soil. I'm gonna take this little leaf off, not doing so well. I am making um, stew today and I thought some kale would go well. And these are ready to harvest. They're dwarf kale. Um, they've been doing great. So I cannot wait to saute this with some onions. Okay. And then um, these are my Brussels sprouts. Look, they're doing awesome. This leaf needs to come off though. Not doing so well. And sorry about this, but um, my dog Cody is always jumping up here. So I have to protect the carrots till they're strong enough. So in fact, you can see his little feet in there, but they're doing well, I've thinned them out. Um, so I'm hopeful that that will be a good, um, they'll be yummy. Okay, um, these are my blueberry bushes. Not as great as Alex's. I did not trim them when I was supposed to, but I do see some new growth. Mine are year old too. Oh yeah, yeah, these are babies, so. I do have, look, Alex, I do have some blueberries, see? So, they're pro it's producing just slowly. Okay, and over here is my cucumber area. <laughs> this is kind of a mishmash of furniture that I was gonna throw away, but the plan is for the cucumber to come up here and then grow on this trellis. So I think it'll work. I have um, a larger cucumber, 12 inch, and then these are eight inch ones, and the companion um, plants are fennel. I think, no, sorry, it's dill. I lied, it's dill. <laughs> um, and then here, I also have to cover this because of Cody. But these are my beets, so I just started those. I may have to see how there's some space, so I think I will have to put more seed in there. So, of course, I'm growing some rosemary, oregano, and my sage right here, which will actually taste really good with the kale. So, mmm, oh, it smells so good. I'm going to go ahead and put some with the kale for tonight's dinner. So, the strawberries have been doing great. I have this lovely owl to scare away the chipmunks and the birds. Um, Oh, I'm going to pick a few. We have a video on how we added Epsom salt to the strawberries to make them sweeter, and it definitely worked. Any more hiding in there? No, but look at this one. Look at this. So, it's huge. yes. Oh, wait, I see one more. Alex, I'm just going to pick this one because it'll ripen inside, and I don't want any animals to get them. Okay, so over here I have my fig tree and I do have a baby fig. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I don't know if you can see that. So our first little fig coming out, which I love figs. So last year did not do so well with figs. So I'm hopeful that for this year. Um, so over here I have another strawberry plant, two tiny tom tomatoes, and this is some Swiss chard. I actually cut it down the other day to eat, and it's growing back, so I didn't think it would. Um, so this gross thing right here is the yellow cups that Alex talks about in one of his videos, and it's really captured a lot of the uh, white flies. Oh, you got a mosquito in there. And these were really, these uh, snowy eggplants were really being torn apart. And um, obviously that's really helped. They've healed quite well. So this is also my first year trying potatoes. I, I don't know if it's time to grow potatoes, but um, I 
put them in here, put some mulch and manure and soil and, um, and then another layer. And so when this dies off, they're ready. So that'll be a surprise if that happens. Um, this is Chinese kale. And I just put that in not too long ago. So that's got a ways to go. Um, let's see, I have more Brussels sprouts. This is a tomato plant. Companion plant is basil and some dill. And all these are from seed. This tomato, um, let's see, I have some dill in here. Cannot remember. This is a chocolate cherry tomato. So these are gonna be tiny tomatoes. They're so sweet and dark. These will be lovely. I have another tomato plant there and a yellow pepper. And speaking of peppers, so here is a pepper. This one was completely being eaten by bugs. And I wanna show you really quick what really helps. So I got this stuff um, ready to use crop control for mold, pests, and mildew. And I had the um, ladybugs and the praying mantis and I did the neem oil to get rid of the bugs. But then I started getting brown spots on my tomato plants. And this really helped. So this was a game changer for me. It, um, it basically took all the spots away and they're healthy now. So check out this tomato that used to be filled with spots. So the leaves, I mean, it's not the, the healthiest looking thing. It was really had been through a lot, but there's a tomato there. See that one hiding right there? Mm -hmm. So it is producing. It is thriving now. It's doing really well. And these are all tomatoes too. Um, it's a mixture of the yellow pear, chocolate cherry tomatoes. Uh, I have a Cherokee and then this is a giant something that's really big. <laughs> um, and then this is my first pepper. So Alex, I don't know if you can see this. Check this thing out. Let's look at that green pepper. I am excited about that. There's a little one behind it. And then this spinach, it's supposed to get really warm so this will probably be harvested soon so I can go ahead and eat this now. That'll be a good meal. Um, let's see, and of course I have little companion plants with everything. And I guess, I guess that's it. Over there I have some herbs and some radishes. This did not work out for the lettuce, so I just ate it all as microgreens <laughs> and it's starting to come back. Um, but these, I mean, the parsley's doing well. What's this? Mint. Mm. Okay, so this would be good with strawberries and uh, mint and some tea. And then here, I actually planted some sunflowers, so um, I'm hoping, uh, I might, may have put too many in here. They come out. Um, and then I, over here, I just have some radishes. Found some carpenter bees the other day. Perfect little holes. So I got to figure out how to um, get rid of those. If anybody has any tips. Yeah, if anyone has any tips, please let me know. I found um, just piles of this, uh, what's this called? Um, sawdust. Sawdust, yeah. And then I looked and there's perfect little hole here and a perfect little hole there. So this is a fairly new fence, a few years old. So um, I kind of need it to last. So any tips I would greatly appreciate. Um, and that's, that's it for the garden tour. Um, I'm gonna pick some more kale and we are going to have some stew meat. Uh, Alex brought over some potatoes and some kale for dinner. <laughs> Thanks for joining me everybody. Bye.